Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are driving from Ligani up to Papin. We are on Old Hope Road. Now we are going to take a look at the construction going on to the left of the road. The road was dug up to lay cables and we were informed it was fiber cables. But look at the state of the road. They have not literally the hole is just there they haven't paved it they have not paved back the road now this is a very busy road and it, look at the sidewalk look at the condition of the sidewalk how do you expect students to walk on the sidewalk and there is a there are two major schools up here jamaica college is here on the left where you see this blue wall i i think when they dig up these roads they need, they can't just leave it like this. They need to, they need to put back the road back to the state in which they found it. And they've dug up this road over two, three weeks ago. I have no idea who, well, I'm assuming they have to go through NWA because they are in charge of the road, but somewhere, somehow, we're not stopping saying no, don't lay cables. And why are these cables going underground? Usually the cables go on the light pole. I'm not sure why they decide to dig up the road to lay cables now. But at the end of the day, you can't leave the road like this. This is bad. This is bad. Fix the road back. I mean, when you are getting permission to dig up the road, there must be some clause, something in that permission, in the approval that says you are going to put the road back in the state you found it. Now I'm sure in other countries they couldn't get away with this. This, guys, for you those of you living overseas, is this how they operate in those countries? Do they just dig up the road, lay the cables and leave it like this? I can't imagine. I mean, they've all even gone onto the sidewalk in some cases and it's not even the sidewalk has been fixed. I would say, yes, Jamaica is progressing. We need a five, the, the faster internet that comes through these cables, but that doesn't give you the right to dig up the road and leave it like this. And why don't they run them on the light poles? I mean, it's not like the light there you're going to stop using the light poles look at all of those wires up there electricity internet well cable the light poles will be there so why don't they run them on the light pole and not dig up the roads because let's say something happens and these cables get damaged on the ground does that mean they're not going to have to dig up the road to well, there's a school over there you notice they didn't they didn't dig up the road look at the hole look at how deep it is. it's just going to get bigger let me pull over and show you guys just how deep these things are if they don't fix it it's just summer when as it rains it's just going to the holes are just going to get bigger and bigger yeah why don't they put these cables above ground because if their cable gets damaged that means they're going to have to dig up the road Okay, it looks like at this point they tried to do some patching. Not a very good job, but at least they tried. Now look here. They've tried to patch it, but look at that hole there. That clearly means they didn't patch it properly. Clearly means they did not patch it properly. There's another one. They, they tried to patch it, but I guess when it, when it rained, it just washed away the patch. So that hole is just going to stay there and get bigger and bigger until they have to spend billions of dollars to rehabilitate this road and then once it's rehabilitated and a cable something is wrong with the cable they dig it up and will they know which part, part of the road to dig up i don't know if it's the right thing is to put these cables on the ground guys what do you think put the cables on the ground or put them above ground where you can get to them easier if it was a case now where they were going to do away with the light poles and all the infrastructure on it was to go underground i would say yes but it's just the fiber cable so i am not sure if it's worth it 
Now maybe if they run it above ground, they'll steal it. I don't know if that's the reason why they're digging up the roads. But if you dig up the road and you put in the cable, put the road back to the state you found it. I mean, seriously now. There are We won't go there. But are we using the right contractors to do this work? That is a very important question we have to ask. Are we using the right contractors? Because clearly you can see at some sections of the road they did some patching, but the water has has removed some of the patch already. I mean the other day in the western part of Jamaica, Westmoreland, Hanover, the people had to block the road to protest the state of the road. And then the government, or I shouldn't say the government, the NWA dispatched a team quickly to fix it. And they've started working on the road. And do you know the people in Westmoreland and Hanover came out and said, we don't want these let me rephrase it. people came out and said they want china harbor engineering company to do the work to fix the road because they want the road fixed once and for all basically they're saying we want the road fixed properly once and for all and we want china harbor engineering company to do it can you imagine the National Works Agency. Now, when you hear those things, you have to wonder. Look at what's going on with this road. It's just something to think about. They have dug up the road to lay cables. And in some cases, they didn't even bother to patch it. And in some cases, this section, I wanted to show you the holes where they seem to have patched. But... And the, the, yeah, the contractors that the NWA sent down there, the people said they don't want them. They want China Harbor Engineering Company to do the work. I mean, that's not good. That doesn't say much about what's going on in Jamaica. But when you look at the roads, you understand why the people are saying this. Look at that road we just drove on. They dug it up laid the cables in some cases they didn't even patch it in some cases they patched it and the water is there are holes where they patch basically seriously i mean i don't know guys what do you think what do you think leave your comments in the section below because china have engineering company does an excellent job but i don't know if something as simple as patching this little stretch of road and look at the state of it all right guys thanks for taking a tour with us today remember to like share and subscribe have a good day